Okay, the good news is you're out of injector and your car is fast. Uh, the bad news is the injector will not fit into your fuel rail. So this is about 14 and a half millimeters here on the plastic on the top of the injector and it's too big. It's too big for this rail. So what you got to do is you got to get it smaller to the point where it will fit. This is a factory injector here so you want it that small it's just plain too big the black part is way way too big uh, so i'm going to turn it down to this size all right pretty straightforward it doesn't have to be perfect um, but once you turn it down it fits it fits nicely in there and then i'm going to double it up with um, some washers Two for good measure and then this this third one here down at the very base that's actually just to space the rail up just a millimeter because of uh, clearance for the clips which i'm also um, robbing off this other vehicle and then one slight adjustment inside the injector that uh that tang it's got to come off all right so let's uh this is the last one i got to do these other three are already done. I'm gonna chuck it up in the old drill press. And yeah, just kind of take your time here. I'm not gonna use the tool on it, although it's sitting there. I might just snug it up a little bit. But if it isn't spinning true, just give it another shot. It's actually pretty good. Could be better. So if it's not good, just uh, loosen it and try it again. That's pretty good. Just gonna snug this up. Now there's a number of tools you could use. Don't go too tight. So uh, this is. This is one option, and this is uh, really good for cleanup. Not very clear. Not very clear at all. Vibrations. Anyways, that's uh, that's the slow way to do it, and that's probably the most accurate way to do it with a chisel. Just uh, file that off, but if we're gonna go fast, you can use this uh, electric file saw, which I've been using, and it takes it down real quick. But then you gotta stop, and then you can clean it up a little bit with a regular file as it's turning. Uh, but I think the quickest and most accurate is, is this guy. So, let me show you how that works. It's not, it's not straight, but it's, uh, it's enough that I can get it close and then clean it up. Yeah, I know I gotta take a lot more down, so don't be alarmed with this one. I gotta get it down to 10 millimeter, and I know by eyeballing it that I got a lot of room to go. But you could just uh, keep cleaning it up with this guy.
With my eyeball, I got a long ways to go. Stop and sharpen your chisel if you think you have to. It's fairly fairly square right now. Yeah, I got a I got a little bit a little bit of a ways to go still, but uh, it doesn't hurt to. Just grab the old fuel rail. And test fit. Okay, so it's a little bit, a little bit more to go. It's starting to open, but a little bit more to go. I may as well just finish this. Yeah, the reason why it's so shaky because I'm running a, a case on this phone and I also have a magnet on the back of the phone and the magnet is for the uh, DJI gimbal. It's a holder, right? But that, that magnet also disables the stabilization that's built into the camera. What do you know, eh? to take less than more. Okay, we're last, last shot here. do two more but I was just cleaning up that that groove there
No, okay, that's, that's enough recording. I'm gonna finish this with two hands.